Hello all. Today we have an important guest with us. Today we have architect B D Dhaya or Brahm Dev Dhaya sir with us. Brahm Dev Dhaya sir has been working as a partner in a firm called Design Action Group in New Delhi, where they have done in numerous projects in India and abroad. Brahm Dev Dhaya sir started his career. in the government department for a few years which he didn't like then he went to iran for 3 years and then he came back and in 1979 he started a firm called design action group in new delhi so we welcome you sir today thank you sir today you know uh, i got to know that there were some schools by the delhi government that your firm was responsible for the upgradation of So today we would like right. to ask you about the schools, sir. And you know, my first question would be: Why is it important to have schools as the most well-designed buildings for a society, sir? Well, you see, school uh, basically is a landmark in the area, and as you see, architecture, you see, it's it's not something you can hide it. it is visible it is in physical form everybody passing by has right to comments on it so if it is well designed it gives a very positive feeling to the person secondly you see the students they feel pride if it is properly designed it's comparable to or maybe better than the other school around the area it it give them a, a sense of pride and it also motivate them you know to excel in turn their parents are affected the parents are affected means the whole society around that is affected so it's a you know good design means the habit of the students it uh, changes I mean, there is a uh, order in their working. A good design means it everything is in order. Means the you can say uh, not a regimental kind of a thing, but a disciplined thing. It comes to the students, so that reflect in the society also. If it is I mean, and end of the day. Uh, the students will be part of the society only absolutely sir absolutely so, yes. so a well designed yes. building well designing building well designed school building is very much important because it leaves an imprint in the minds of the students and they become very good part members of the society so you know uh, yes. talking about the delhi government project so you worked for the upgradations yes. of schools in delhi what was the status yes. of schools in delhi for the longest time before you were asked to do the upgradation sir you see uh, these schools uh, were constructed sometime in 50s and the upgradation of this school was taken up in 1970s okay so after that there was lot of change in terms of requirements in terms of uh, number of students and technological requirements also so the upgradation became in necessity secondly the condition of these schools was so bad all the toilets i couldn't find a single school where the toilets were functioning properly oh plaster was falling off the top floor particularly because the terrace was never looked after and there were you know growth vegetable vegetation growth over there so the, the plaster of the ceiling was falling so it was a uh, not a healthy situation where a student can really study uh, during rain particularly uh, they were scared of the structural stability of the building right at many places the column uh, had vertical cracks means the reinforcement has started corroding you know, uh, the number of students 
increased to that an extent you see when in 70s the population was much less now the density of the area has increased so the number of uh, students taking admission is much much higher than the uh, it was in 1970 so students they at many school uh, the veranda was used as a classroom right furniture was i mean in such a state so like uh, one leg of a stool is gone so only th- with three legs you know person is using yes so it was not a uh, the other facilities like uh, multi purpose hall the sports facilities there were no existence right 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 so so you mentioned that no major facilities and even the basic facilities uh, like it toilets were not there plasters yeah. plaster was falling off there was vegetation on the terrace and classes were being taken in the veranda so so what according right. to you was the first step in the upgradation process why is building a program based on activity planning very important for schools sir see uh, the f- first visit to the site you know gave us the idea that uh, before designing all these thing whatever they you know what uh, they formulated that they require about so many rooms so uh, multi purpose hall and all those thing we thought we must have a program right and our first visit only gave us the idea right you see the number of students the lack of infrastructure the like classroom laboratory la- laboratory laboratory staff room staff toilets general toilets you know so that unless we plan ki what exist what to be provided so planning is a, is worthless without this this thing absolutely you know designing who designing anything without programming is worthless So what we did, we planned, uh, we made a chart that this so many students, each section should have so many students, like right. 40 students. So how many rooms we require? It is not how many they said. How many rooms are required, classrooms, and how many? What is the strength of the staff? Right. So staff also need a staff room. where they check their paper at least in free time they can study all those things so how what is the strength of the staff so how many areas how many classroom or to be converted into uh, this um, uh, staff room or their toilets you know they cannot have it uh, students and the teachers uh, toilets are to be separated so where these are to be located so they i mean they, those kind of things you know to be planned so we made a chart what a school with this much of strength should have how many classroom how many laboratory uh, how big the library how many toilets number of toilets you see what uh, i mean wash basin urinal all those things you know these are required multi purpose hall how big is the space availability of the school and then we have whatever way they had we deducted that and then we calculated ki this much of area is required okay with that area the available area is how much and we have to have sports facilities then the then the constant were in some schools there were trees well grown trees and we decided we will not even cutting is i mean impossible i mean uh, uh, it was out of question trimming also we said ki it has to be done minimal right no and then came the uh, design process right So on that basis, we prepared a sketch design, right. and 
discussed with the not with the authority but with the end user right end right. user means the teachers right because it was to be done in in a school which is running right so everything has to be discussed in a way so that the school is not disturbed at all right it's functioning remain like that absolutely absolutely right. absolutely so sir uh, you know regarding uh, creating this program you've told us a lot of in- lot of information has been provided by you but sir how do we involve the stakeholders you know can the yes. students be also involved as stakeholders should they also be interviewed what do you think about this you see we tried that also if we talk to the students but uh, somehow it uh, never materialized but the staff uh, Each head of HOD of the department, right? What possibility along with the principal? Because you see, this is a, uh, not a new construction where nobody is there. Right. It was a running school, and end user was very aware of the deficiency. Right. Which we are facing every day. Yes. See. Okay. So. Um, he was quite aware what uh, best can be achieved in that area also right so we discussed uh, the program with them right if this is the requirement now right as per as as per strength of the school right there were few changes that was because you see uh, each school had a uh a different cl- uh, uh, class of students right right like there are some, some in in particular particularly uh, across yamuna school right there were very few science takers right right while in the southern area there were more people who were interested in taking science team in some school there were people more inclined to taking commerce so all this you know the programming had to be revised as per the uh, students requirements absolutely absolutely so, absolutely so, so so the participation that was in the programming absolutely during the education also you see uh, it was a living school i mean uh, the functioning school so Uh, which area is to be cordon off for the students? From where it we can start the construction and uh, phase wise, like you know, redevelopment classroom also we de- redevelop. Class thing was to be redone, and uh, the uh, whiteboard was to be put up there. And so in that process, we took five. rooms every time right and the students were to be shifted because those five already there were shortage of classrooms and we took five classroom so where they to be shifted what will be their movement you know which area to be cordon off and then where we release those school which next you no know, uh, those uh, classroom which new classroom will be taken up right right so, It, so all the time the teaching staff was in what right very nice 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 so 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 uh, you know you spoke about so many schools that you did sir i want to ask you which yeah. school was the most challenging design problem for you so if you can you know name the school and tell us the challenge that you faced there you see uh, in fact every school was a unique school because their area was different the uh, configuration of the building were different and the requirements were different yes and their problems were also different you know structure problem so but you see this lajpat nagar school was very interesting because this was this school had a single story building which was constructed in 50s with ac seat roofing but still 
who was in use that was the interesting thing the new block that was constructed was stand alone it has no connection with the existing structure so the rest of the area had trees right so there was no space for students to play except one court that was basketball ball court uh, no other facilities were there right so we thought yes this is a unique uh, school and here we can do really you know change the whole thing right we decided that single story in any case has to be demolished because it is it, it was a ac seat roofing yes. broken ac seat roofing yes no so why not we make this as a ground because there is no tree this could be a good uh, play field football play field or hockey play field yes you know or or, or maybe we add because it was a huge area that was uh, uh, constructed in 1950 right so and uh, construct a new building new block close to the uh, block which was constructed in 70s and connect to the other so that you know it's not an isolated thing right so the question was existing trees should right. we plant in a way around those trees only right so no in this case no tree was cut right and the area where single story block was existing was demolished right and a very good play field yes as well as football uh, field yes was created yes so this was uh, really interesting and in fact uh, we had to do lot of jugglery around the trees yes 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 absolutely <laughs> i you know sir i have personally seen that school and right now the oh, playground that yeah. you're talking about you know it's very beautiful and you know the buildings yeah. have been uh, on buildings are on one side and the older buildings yeah. that you're talking about with the ac sheet yeah. i have personally seen them and right now there's a beautiful yeah. uh you know play field for students to play there it is the shaheed yeah. hemo kalani school that uh, yeah, uh, that yeah, is in lajpat yeah. nagar sir very nice very nice yeah, right. school to look at sir it yeah. doesn't even look like a government school our impression of oh, a government yeah. school when you enter that school you just forget about that this this thing can be a government school you know our impression has changed because of this so thank you sir you see, 15 15% student increase because of this thing only absolutely sir absolutely absolutely uh so you know uh, uh so from these projects from all the pr- programs that you built sir what was your biggest learning sir you know with the viewers if you could tell the viewers the biggest learning sir you see here because each school was a different school uh learning was because you see these were all functioning right and uh, the design has to be that the functioning should not be affected right so the learning is that uh, secondly is the uh, no, because it's a working so participation of the uh, end user yes is very important yes so every every time when you do such kind of project read or learn project so end user must be you know considered as as a uh, as part of your team absolutely 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 so the the problem that they, they face every day over there right they can tell you much better than you even visualize absolutely 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 even after visiting there two three times still you won't be able to make out the problem which they can tell so their participation is the is the the brand absolutely more absolutely. important 
absolutely yes, absolutely so sir sir you know all over india under the sarva shiksha abhiyan that was in the previous government you know all the schools yeah. were renovated and you know a lot of work was done on school redevelopment so sir, what can be the yeah. most workable template for government school uh, you know redevelopment in india across the across india so can this delhi model be replicated everywhere you see the planning process mainly see yeah. they can you know The, the planning means the planning for requirements this can be seen but design cannot be seen because you see uh, if you talk about reason wise we have a different climate different building material then each school has a building configuration is different right the area is different yes so you no know, designing you have to do for each school separately individually but programming definitely this template can be used yes 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 you know you given that uh, whatever is existing whatever is to be added uh, and then discuss with the system uh, with the uh, uh, teaching staff right absolutely 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 sir sir so you know in this project you worked for the government what are the yeah. opportunities and challenges in working for the government as compared to working for the private sector yes that is <laughs> this is very interesting really you see in private sector uh you deal with limited number of people because the person uh, you deal with two or three people only right you see and many times you see the owner the client he has his own vision yes in in, in terms of requirement in terms of uh, uh, visual also yes and and many a time i found that they like that particular color also yes 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 you see it is you know but in government when you do government project this is not there there you are little free yes that is one thing yes second you see in government the participation of uh, people the in the design process as well as in the execution process the number is very high very high you see and then it is good also you see architecture is not something uh, you know you put in uh, cover yes it is visible visible and everybody passing by has right to you know comments is yes. it good or bad or, you know. so if more people are involved yes so the better will be absolutely absolutely so what i i i see absolutely absolutely so but you see then you get input of many people yes so you know exactly the uh, how the society will react yes because they are part of the society only they have come from the society only yes absolutely so the uh, participation of the number of people yes will definitely enhance your design no doubt about it absolutely absolutely hmm? so so you know stakeholder participation and then you know the important point that you didn't even cut a single tree in all these schools there are so many yeah. important points that you mentioned were very yeah. it it shows the sensitivity of design and of for nature that your practice has so sir talking about your practice no i have heard from my friends that mm-hmm. your employees and interns are in the best of the spirits under your supervision what is the secret of having great relations with your employees and interns sir <laughs> okay you see uh our office is an open office 
I generally I call it you know it's not an office. Uh, it's a school kind of a thing. We don't have private cab cabins, individual cabin. Right. We are we sit among them only, right. among the staff. So whatever discussion is to be taken, it's taken in a central table where they all can join. Right. You know, it's not necessary to be discussed with the person who is working on the project. Yes. The other other staff member also come, and they have a right to comment. Right. So that way, the participation of whole staff is there. Yes. And they learn from that. Yes. You see, our time is gone. Okay. They are our future. Okay. <laughs> we must we must we must look after our future. Yes. You know, then we what we do, we always engage them in discussion with the client also. Okay. You know, we take them to the site. Whenever we go to the site, we take them to the site so that they have a total idea. Right. You know, of the they are complete in our respect. They right. can start their own business anytime. Right. Absolutely. So they they I mean, otherwise. What the big idea? They are not slaves. They have to one day. They have to stand on their own feet. Yes. So we have. We must prepare them for that. Yes. You see, the training comes. The training comes. Then, what we do? We have made a slavery for them also. Oh. Like you have in, like you have in fourth year, fifth year. Yes. So that way we also have a program for them. Okay. They must visit sites. Yes. They must write report on that thing. Then they must do presentation. Right. Okay. Then yes. a small small building. Right. They must do the working drawing also. Amazing. Amazing. So that program we have to do. Right. Amazing. That's amazing. So because now, because of the COVID, and for the last two years, this program has gone heavy. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, we are not very happy also with this situation that uh, we are not giving them enough time, particularly to the trainees. Absolutely. 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 so this open office is amazing i think that's a secret sauce in why the office you know is so vibrant and all the people who i have, who have trained under you they're saying that it was a very good experience to be working in your office and this idea about involving everybody and this program is an amazing idea you know it's like a small crash course you know which is properly designed for a intern who joins your office so so we have covered a lot of very important points today you know including uh, you know like this the schools the game changer for mm -hmm. delhi has been the schools that you have yeah. been part of in uh, designing and preparing the upgradation program for so you know important points like the planning activity the program and you know involving stakeholders including you know sometimes the students if possible for mm -hmm. certain schools and you know right. you told us that you know contrary to what people believe you said that government projects are actually a blessing because there you have more freedom so that is something new to listen to because usually you know people say government projects people usually count problems but you know you are counting the benefits of a government project so that's also very yeah, big deal one very a very good incident so yes you see when we were checking the structural stability of the building yes we realized that we cannot because there was no space outside also open space where we can construct with Thought of adding one floor on top yes. of the existing structure. Yes. You see, where where we used uh, uh, technology. Yes. Uh, lightweight construction. Right. Right. We right. used a, a GI framework with the cement board on both sides, and uh, infilled with the insulation. Right. And it, uh, so no wet work. So no disturbance in the school. Yes. So and uh, when we presented this thing, so yes. I mean the school people also they were very happy because they do less disturbance, yes. uh, less work, 
less time required yes. for construction and the government also uh, you know they were also very happy right. you know in government so we could you know convince them right. but in private you know, they come in private say, they come with set ideas of their own right absolutely 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 so more freedom in the government sector because uh, there are no yes. set ideas which are very much present yeah, in the yeah. private sector so you know great yeah. learning sir i mean with respect to school design all the students who are listening to this are going to learn a lot all the professionals who are listening to this are going to relate to you and you know probably learn from your experience of so many years so sir thank you so much you know today for sharing you. about your experience in designing government school sir finally sir i would request you to give a last message message to all the viewers sir you see uh, architecture when we talk everybody has his own definition right you know they define in a, in their own ways yes but one thing that is uh, that we never uh, exhibit we, that we keep to our heart yes that is the supremacy oh okay that my house should be better than the neighbor's house yes my school should be better than the other school <laughs> so in that process yes many a time we do lipstick architecture okay lipstick architecture then so my mission is that Programming, while you do, it should be implemented that way only. Right. It should be functional first. Yes. Then anything else. Yes. You know, if it is functional, then all things are. You no, know, it will be in order. It will be in systems. Then everything will function properly. Right. So I. my idea is that it should be uh, design should be functional first and then uh, whatever list you want to use it you know thank you thank you thank you sir it was really really great having you i really thank you again for sharing your experience and such an important lesson on school design school planning and school redevelopment thank you so much sir right thank you namaskar thank you